Hello everybody and welcome to part three of this special series on the mechanisms of obesity. Now in this part I want to just briefly talk about these um, molecules which are released by adipocytes called adipokines. Okay? Now generally what we find with adipokines is that they are released from uh, hypertrophic adipocytes or as adipocytes start to become larger, they start to release um, mainly these pro-inflammatory uh, adipokines and they can start to cause damage. Now let's look at these different categories and see what we've got on the screen here. Now if you have a lean person who's got a healthy weight, so a normal body mass index, uh, their metabolic function is normal as well, their, their adipocytes are actually releasing anti-inflammatory adipokines. So they're actually in a good uh, situation. We've, we've talked about the importance of adipocytes um, and there's a and in, in particularly in terms of um, glucose and uh, lipid metabolism um, in in the body, but you have these. Uh, uh, anti-inflammatory adipokines which are released in by normal adipocytes in a lean person. Now as soon as you get to a point where you're going towards obesity, so you're, gain, you're becoming overweight, you're perhaps on that threshold uh, of becoming obese, um, 30 kilograms per meter squared, um, so you, you might have obesity with mild metabolic dysfunction and here you can see that the cluster of inflammatory cells, uh, the T cells, the macrophages start to increase uh, and you're going to you, you, you're gonna get a couple of things that happen. Those adipocytes are still going to release anti-inflammatory adipokines but they're now also going to start increasing um, the levels of some pro-inflammatory adipokines and I'm not going to talk about each and every single one of these because uh, you know there's far too much information to, to mention in one video however I will link to a review article which goes into quite a lot of depth about about these adipokines uh, which you can read and, and, and expand your knowledge further. Now in a, in a person that has so this is what we would call somebody with mild metabolic dysfunction. Um, their blood, what we can see here is vascular function. This is the blood vessel health as a result of releasing these uh, molecules. So an obese person with mild metabolic dysfunction is not likely to be at a very great risk of cardiovascular disease. You know, their risk is gonna be greater compared to somebody who's uh, a lean and healthy BMI. Um, but as soon as you start going to a point where you've got severely hypertrophic adipocytes, you're a obese person that's you know well above the BMI of 30 uh, kilograms per meter squared and you're going to have significant amounts of inflammation okay you're going to start to have dead adipocytes you're going to have increased free fatty acid release as we talked about in the previous video you're going to have uh, pro-inflammatory cyto adipokines being released by the adipocytes getting into the circulation, attacking the blood vessels, attacking the liver, attacking the renal system, attacking wherever they can actually be circulated towards, they will start to cause an inflammatory response in that tissue. So in, a, in essence, obesity could be the cause of many other uh, chronic health conditions, okay? And that is because of these pro-inflammatory adipokines. That, that, that the research is quite um, uh, clear and um, uh, strong in that particular area, so that's likely to be due to these pro-inflammatory adipokines. So that was just an overview of the importance of these, these kind of uh, proteins which are released by fat, and obviously the greater amount of fat or adipose tissue you have in your body, the more likelihood you're gonna have these pro-inflammatory adipokines being released and causing harmful effects elsewhere. So that's everything about the adipose tissue. Uh, stick around for part four where we're going to talk a little bit about the distribution of body fat in, the, in, in, the, uh, in our bodies and, and how that can impact uh, our, our health.